There have been days of eager anticipation prior to this massive clash, but now we need talk about it no more and instead focus on the here and now. A match that has the capacity to delight and dazzle no matter who you support. Keep it right here for live coverage on EA TV. And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And what we have for you tonight is live Champions League group stage match day one action. It's Porto versus Arsenal. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. And a chance to whip it in here. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. And a look at the starting lineup for Porto. Well, they're going to set up as a 4-4-2, which means the front two will need to be clever with their combination play. Dynamic with their movement and energetic with their closing down. I'm looking forward to seeing them play here today. And this is the Arsenal starting 11. Martin Odegaard plays alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. And the main forward is Gabriel Jesus. William Saliba needs to take great care. Kai Havertz. Porto recovering possession well. And played the pass well. Looking for the final pass that will open things up. Could play it in. Well, the outcome is a free kick here. fired from the flank into the area not the most confident clearance well it comes to nothing in the end Bukayo Saka an effective challenge oh this looks useful can he take the chance brilliantly blocked Sending it in. Just the clearance that was needed. Rendell. Can he put them in front? Looked like a certain goal, but that's a great challenge. Being pressed and pressed high. Gabriel. Now Zinchenko, it's with Gabriel. Alexander Zinchenko. Martin Erdegaard. Bukayo Saka. Martin Erdegaard. Oh, they have it again. 
Eva Nilsson. Might really be able to trouble them here. Wendell. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Well, they're eyeing that final pass, you just feel. Firing it towards goal. He's blocked it. Kai Havertz. An encouraging Arsenal move. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Well, that ball looks promising. Varela. Huge block. Back to Raya. Trying to handle the pressure. Gabriel. Now with Havertz. Arsenal unable to retain possession. And that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. Gabriel Martinelli. Really fine piece of defending play to break us up. Oh, is he going to be punished here? Oh, that's a fine-looking pass. He must finish. And a goal! Now they've broken through. 1-0 here. Well, as you can see, he beats the defenders so easily with a change of pace. And then it's a decent finish. That's a very good goal, you have to say. Well, he has to get his team plan again. This isn't going to plan. So, underway again here. 1-0 the score. Galeno. Eva Nilsson with Cardoso Wendell now the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick in the direction of, oh goodness me off the post the referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks we're at the end of 45 minutes in this game you certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point Stuart well I'm sure the manager will be delighted with him they have drilled it into them to keep their focus, keep playing through to the half-time whistle, and it certainly put them in a good position to go on and win this now. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. In position here to protect the ball, but just like that, possession changes hands. I must say, this looks promising. Declan Rice Gabriel Martinelli Rice with it 
Saka. Gabriel. Alexander Zinchenko. Just trying to keep their opponents on their toes with the passing game. Ben White. Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. Steven Eustachio. And here's Galeno. Well, using the space really well, but now can they push on? Chance to cross. And with that, the attack fizzles out. This might be ideal for the counter. Jesus. Zinchenko. Rice. Can they put it away? Oh, chance taken! There is opportunism for you. But a disappointed goalkeeper. Well, here's the replay, and this is what you're always told as a kid. Go for the far post, make it difficult for the keeper, and then hope your teammate is ready for any rebound. He does exactly that, and they get their reward. What a good goal that was. So underway once more, 2-0 the lead here. Now we have 30 minutes to go. Mario Pepe now do they mean business on this occasion a fine reading of the situation Alexander Zinchenko Gabriel it's with Erdogan Strength and control, a big part of his game. Bukayo Saka. Porto doing well to regain possession. Galeno. Steven Eustachio. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Arsenal could threaten from this position. He could pick out a teammate. Well, he loves drifting in off the flank. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Alexander Zinchenko. And here's Saliba. Declan Rice. Saka. The through ball. This attack looks highly promising. Havertz. Just the challenge that was required. Mehdi Tarami. Now can they counter clinically? Takes aim! A chance for them to provide a test in the form of a corner. So a personnel change then. Played over and stopping the danger. Martinelli. Options in the middle. And fed forwards. Jesus. And denied by the keeper. Impressive. 
They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Really getting stuck in. Oh, great attacking play. An Arsenal corner. Yeah. Favouring the short one. Gabriel. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. And it's Gabriel Jesus. Well, strong play here. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation? Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Determined defending. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. Paremi. Pepe. He's beaten his man. No possibilities in the centre. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. So full time it is. And a morale boosting. Three points on the board to begin the European campaign. Yeah, that's a good win and a vital three points. Another win next time out and they'll be in a great position. But it just seems in this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable and he inspires those around him.